Hi, this is Pastor Rick at Living Hope Baptist Church here in Hemet. I'm glad you joined me today. I want to talk to you about what happened after Jesus Christ was crucified and buried. Uh, he rose again, and not any of his followers really understood it. It was just difficult for them to grasp what was going to happen. In fact, Mary was standing, uh, Magdalene, outside the tomb, and it says, uh, weeping, and as she wept, she stooped down and looked into the tomb and she saw two angels in white sitting one at the head and the other at the feet where the body of jesus had lain that means he wasn't there but there were angels there then they said to her woman why are you weeping <clears throat> she said to them because they've taken away my lord and i do not know where they've laid him now when she had said this she turned around and saw jesus standing there and did not know that it was jesus have you ever done that where you're looking for something and looking and looking and you can't find it. And then finally you go back to the first place you looked and it was there. You just didn't see it right in front of you. Well, that's kind of like her. She knew who Jesus was. He's standing there and she just couldn't believe her eyes. That's a good expression. And, she, and he says, why are, you, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? And she's supposing him to be the gardener. Said to him, sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you laid him and I will take him away. This gives me a lot of encouragement that this is a true story because it is so human and it is so typical of us. And Jesus said to her, Mary, well, when he calls her by name, she turned and said to him, Rabboni, which is to say teacher. Jesus said to her, do not cling to me for I have not yet ascended to my father, but go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my father and your father, and to my God, and your God. Mary Magdalene came and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord, and that he had spoken these things to her. Can you imagine the excitement she would have when she went to tell these men what she had just seen, that she met Jesus in the garden? It says, Then the very same day at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut, where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, you see, they were scared to death. That also gives credibility to this story. They were afraid. They didn't understand what was going to happen next. Jesus came and stood in the midst and said to them, peace be with you. I am confident you could have heard a pin drop in that room. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. You see, they weren't expecting him either. So Jesus said to them again, Peace to you, as the Father has sent me, I also send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Now Thomas, called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. That's very important because Thomas is often called Doubting Thomas. He had a hard time believing what he didn't see. And the other disciples, who didn't believe either, but they got to see Jesus first, said to him, We have seen the Lord. So he said to them, Unless I see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. And after eight days his disciples were again inside, and Thomas with them this time. Jesus came, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst and said, Peace to you. Then he said to Thomas, because... Jesus knew Thomas had not been there, and he knew what, Jesus, what Thomas had said. And so Jesus said, reach your finger here and look at my hands and reach your hand here and put it into my side. Do not be unbelieving, but believing. And Thomas answered and said to him, my Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Thomas, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. That is speaking to you and to me today. Yes, Jesus Christ died. He was buried. He rose again. His disciples discovered that he was alive again, and they put their faith in him. You and I don't see Jesus today because he ascended to heaven, and he is still there sitting in a throne next to the throne of God the Father, and he is there waiting for the time when he's to come back to take us to himself. You and I can put our faith and trust in him, the same as the disciples who then believed because they saw him. 
these stories in the Bible are true. You can trust them. Put your faith in Jesus Christ. If you want to learn more about it, come and visit us at our church. We meet at 1040 a.m. on Sunday mornings and at Living Hope Baptist Church here in Hammett. We would be glad to see you. God bless you.